In this lesson, we're going to be looking at the difference between atomic mass and mass number, and they are absolutely, positively not the same. Most elements have naturally occurring isotopes, like copper-63 and copper-65. You know they're isotopes because they both have the same atomic number, but they do have different mass numbers. The mass number, that's what tells you what the isotope is. That's the mass of each isotope. 63 AMU, 65 AMU. The mass of each isotope. It tells you the total number of particles in the nucleus. But the atomic mass is not the same as mass number. The atomic mass of an element is the weighted average of the naturally occurring isotopes of that particular element in nature or of that particular element in any sample of that element. Look on the periodic table and you can see that the weighted average of copper isotopes found in nature is 63.546. And This is why most of the atomic masses on the periodic table are not whole numbers. They are, in fact, averages. An average of all of the isotopes of that element, that particular element found in nature. So if the atomic mass is the weighted average of the masses, then it should be easy to calculate the weighted averages if you know the percentages of each isotope that are present in a sample. It works like this. Let's take a sample of copper. The Statue of Liberty. It's made of copper. It is 69% copper 63 and 31% copper 65. If we want to find the weighted average of the copper isotopes in that sample, we simply multiply the mass of each isotope by the percentage and then add them up and that will tell you the mass of the copper isotopes in that particular sample in the statue. It works like this. Copper 63 represents 69 percent of the copper in that sample. That gives us, if we multiply that, 43.47 AMU. Copper 65 is represented by 31 percent of the copper in that statue. We multiply that out, that gives us 20.15, the weighted average of each one. If we add them together, we get the weighted average of the total, and that gives us an average atomic mass, a weighted average mass of copper in the statue of 63.62 AMU. Here's calcium. Now the element calcium has 24 naturally occurring isotopes. We're going to look at three of them. Our sample here has three of these isotopes. Calcium 40 represents 80 percent of this sample of calcium. Calcium 43 16 percent. Calcium 44 is 4 percent. Now if we want to find the total weighted average of the isotopes in this sample, we simply multiply the mass number for each one times its percentage and then add them together and it looks like this. Here's calcium 40, 80 percent. That gives us 32 AMU. Calcium 43 is 16 percent. If I multiply that it comes out to 6.88 AMU of the total. And the third isotope is calcium 44. It's 4 percent. So we multiply that by 0 0.04 and we get 1.76. Now we add these up and we get the total. The total atomic mass or atomic weight of calcium in the sample is 40.64. That is specifically the weighted average of all the isotopes of calcium within that sample. Let's look at another problem. In nature, neon has three stable isotopes, neon-20, neon-21, and neon-22. Suppose a sample of neon is found to have the following composition. It's 67% neon-20. It's 8.5% neon-21. 
it's 24.5 percent neon 22 well we're going to multiply the mass number for each one times its percentage and then add those up and that'll give us the total so neon 20 we're going to multiply by 0.67 that's 67 percent that gives me 13.4 AMU neon 21 is 8.5 percent so we multiply that by 0 0.085 and that gives us 1.785 AMU of the total the third isotope of neon is neon 22 and that is 24.5 percent so we multiply that by 0.245 that gives us 5.390 AMU of the total if we add those together we get the total is 20.575 and that is the weighted average atomic mass or atomic weight of the neon in this particular sample of neon gas well let's look at lithium in nature lithium has two stable isotopes well lithium has lots of isotopes but only two of them are stable the others are radioactive they're lithium-6 and lithium-7 and lithium-7 is much more abundant than lithium-6 about 92.5 percent of the atoms found in any sample of lithium are going to be lithium-7 this says find the atomic mass of a lithium sample that has the following composition lithium-6 is 7.5 percent lithium-7 is 92.5 percent before we calculate this let me just say something why is all of this important well I can give you one reason it's important if you find a sample of lithium in one place and go someplace else and find another sample of lithium perhaps it's from two different places localities in the same country or even in different countries those lithium samples will represent different percentages of each isotope and if you can figure out the percentages of the isotopes if you can measure those you can actually tell where that sample of lithium came from it's like that for all elements the percentage of the isotopes in each of the samples is sort of like a fingerprint and you can tell where it comes from copper found near the Great Lakes in the United States has a different isotopic composition than copper that's found in some location say in South America so let's go ahead and figure this out lithium-6 represents 7.5 percent of the total which works out to 0.45 AMU of the total lithium-7 represents 92.5 percent that works out to 6.475 AMU of the total and when we add these up we get the total and that total 6.925 is the atomic mass or atomic weight of lithium as it is found in nature or this particular sample so go ahead and try a problem on your own stop the video work the problem out and then when you're done turn the video back on and we'll work through it together and see how you did all right if you're back to see if you solve this correctly find the atomic mass of a strontium sample that has the following composition we have mass number 87 represented by 94.3 percent of the sample mass number 88 is represented by 5.7 percent of the sample now remember we're going to multiply the mass number of each one times the percentage of the sample and then we're going to add them together and that'll give us the total weighted average of the isotopes of strontium in that particular sample so we have strontium 87 we're going to multiply by 0.943 and that gives me 82.041 AMU if I multiply strontium 88 times 5.7 percent that works out to 5.016 AMU and the average is 87.057 AMU and that is the weighted atomic mass of strontium as it is found in this particular sample and that is the difference between mass number 
and atomic mass. Mass number is specific to any atom. It tells you for any given atom the total number of particles in the nucleus. The atomic mass that you find on the periodic table is a weighted average of all of the isotopes of that element that are found in nature.